hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to teach you guys how to paint northern lights in a very simple and easy manner the paper i'm using today is 300 gsm watercolor paper from brewster official also the colors are from brewster official again all right so let's get started i'm going to use the shade of persian blue as you guys know it's my favorite and i'm going to take the mop brush from rusto again it's very soft and i really like these i'm going to dip the brush in water and then i'm going to take little paint in my brush and start along the borders of the circle so today i've decided to not use tapes while painting uh because you know what like when there are tapes i usually tend to make it really messy and without tapes it has actually helped me to you know keep a control on my hands keep a control on myself and not try and paint everywhere around because i know if i do that it's going to spoil my entire paper so it's a very good uh, practice exercise for me so i'm just going to uh, keep painting around the corners of the circle for this one the paint does not have to be very deep very dark it's it's going to be light at the end of the painting as well so i'm not going to take a lot of paint in my brush i'm just going to take a little amount and then i'm going to spread it nicely all over the paper use water use water to spread it and that's how i'm going to do it so try and use the pointed end of the brush because uh, these are mop brushes these are very thick but you still can make tiny details using mop brushes remember so that's how i'm just going to blend it i'm going to spread it as much as possible i've not taken paint more than once it was the little block that i had taken in the beginning so that's how it goes the next step is to make the lighter version of uh the northern lights okay if you have seen the pictures you have those uh, you know lighter greenish or bluish kind of um things that are the specialty about the north northern lights so for that i'm going to mix little light blue and a little of light green and this is the shade that i've got it's kind of like um like teal and i really like this shade it looks very pretty so i'm going to i've not added any white or anything please do not add white so i've used light blue and light green and that's how it turned out and i'm just going to uh paint it in a fashion you know like a random fashion it doesn't have to be like you know like in any shape or anything uh i would suggest you to uh have a look at the pictures of northern lights you can find them on google or pinterest or anywhere before starting this painting so you have an idea about what you are creating for this one i did not use a reference picture or anything because i had an idea that okay they look like this so you know there was no need of a reference picture okay so i'm going to use blue and i'm going to complete the uh, fill up the remaining white part of the paper of the circle i mean i'm just going to use persian blue and that's how i'm going to fill it up
try and blend the color try and blend the paint as much as possible because that is the key and that is going to make your painting look realistic Here goes my favorite part of spray painting for the stars. Uh, this time I do not want it to look like you know the like the galaxy. I just want a few stars, few little droplets to be there, and I'm trying to you know lighten them up with my fingers over here. So I do not want a lot of stars here, very very little. Okay. So now comes the part where we need to draw a few pine trees and um, we are going to draw them using a thin artificials art brush. I love these brushes, you're gonna find them on Instagram, you can buy them from uh, their official site and you also find them on Amazon. So that's how we are going to use black paint and the brush and we're going to make the pine trees. I wasn't really comfortable with the position of the paper so I turned it around and you know you're free to do that. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.